as we're talking about our, our tops of 2019 here on the Riders Block, I mentioned the not so good aspects of Tyler Skagg's story, uh, which was my top moment, but there were some worse moments. Cedric, you can't have sports and have the highs without some of the lows. So what, what goes down as your worst moment of 2019? It was that epic no call, the pass interference that should have been in the NFC Championship game mm -hmm. between the Saints and the Rams, and it cost us a Drew Brees, Tom Brady Super Bowl. <laughs> Instead, we get Jared Goff, who was a deer caught in headlights uh, against Tom Brady. And it, and it was, Jen, maybe the worst Super Bowl ever. It was boring. It was brutal. You know the Saints would have come in and scored more than three points or whatever the Rams. It was just horrible, horrible game. That call was not only a big motivator in the league adopt uh, re re applying rules to the replay system making it okay to challenge a no call i mean that's the one good thing that came out of that but as far as drew Brees and the saints are concerned he's a 40 year old quarterback it's not a it's never guaranteed that you're going to make it back yeah and so he was denied a chance to play in another super bowl that has nothing to do with what's going on right now. They're going to be in the playoffs. But I'm saying as for the beginning of the year in January, Drew Brees uh, probably would have been in a Super Bowl, yeah. if not for the worst moment of the sports season, the no call of pass interference. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I, I won't disagree with you there. But I, I think my worst moment – uh, was a great franchise, a historic franchise, seeing their general manager resign in a media scrum. I'm talking about Magic Johnson and one of the most storied players in that storied franchise. Working as the general manager of the Lakers, things were not going well last year. Obviously, we saw LeBron eventually sidelined by injury, losing a ton of games were the Lakers. Things look very different now with Anthony Davis, but there was no guarantee that that was going to happen in the offseason either. And Magic Johnson, end of the year, basically walks into a media scrum and, re and, and, and resigns. Uh, the, the team is caught off guard. It, it was a bad look for the Lakers, but more than anything, it was a bad look for Magic Johnson, who obviously has a great playing career, has a very uh, a positive retirement until that point and then it's basically magic looking like well this got hard and I'm out the door now it, it was just really tarnishing I think to his legacy to leave that way to so surprise people in LA and with the Lakers that that was what he was going to do just really felt like a bad bad moment uh, right there. Now, we've had a lot of bad moments, but I think that one for me it was just like, wow, I can't believe Magic Johnson, so beloved, such a, uh, such a Laker icon, is walking out the door that way.